All right, welcome back, guys. Um, we are going to be looking at stats from Season 8. Um, <clears throat> I recorded more matches than normal. Uh, I tried to get things once they started getting competitive, once I kind of got near the end of where I was going to finish. Uh, so most of this data is from there. And again, this is just my personal experience from you know the matches I played. So it's heavily dependent on what I picked, what I banned, if I was smart, if I was dumb. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. This is not some sort of definitive list of which monsters have good win rates in all situations. Um, it's just me. So um, I have them ranked here by their win percentage. And the ones in green are units that I used quite a bit. You know, some units are up here that didn't get used too much. So we're going to go ahead and talk through them. So the Jean, 10 and 2, 12 games played. I was really happy with that. Um, here are her, her stats are on the, the right here. I'm going to just leave them there so you can look at it. But I was pretty happy with how she functioned. This rune is new. I love this rune. You can't see it, apparently, but it's 34% uh, HP. So I'm just going to leave this stat up because that's really what matters. Um, I used her more towards the end of the season. I kind of incorporated her more. Um, and she functioned really well. I would like to have gotten her into more matches. But, you know, the reason why her win rate is probably as good as it is, is she can only go into matches where she can control. You don't want to pick her into double immunity that you can't do anything about. So, you know, when she was able to get in, of course she did great. Because she was in a match that they couldn't do anything about her. And so she won. So she's still very effective. Alright, this one, new team where it says here. I did a rerun right at the end of the season just to see what would happen. Um, and it worked great. I mean, it was a 66% win rate my last, like, 15 matches of the season, something like that. Uh, it was just sort of a proof of concept. Um, and I'll show you the runes on those. Basically, I reruned Josephine and uh, Triana to be a little more aggressive, and it worked well. I might ex experiment with it again uh, next season, but that's what that is. All right, Chilling. That was a long time ago. Perna, 62% win rate. I turned it into a DPS Perna, and I don't think it's very good. You can see the stats. Look at the HP. That's what's killing me. Everything else is good, um, but the HP is bad, and it's a lot slower than my Pernas in the past. I didn't trust it enough. Like, look at only 37 matches chosen. I just didn't trust it. it, it there was too many counters. Um, yeah, there's just too many counters, and now with Water Monkey being a thing, that's bad for Perna. So, win rate was good, but the the trust level wasn't there. Okay, let's look at Verd. I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one. So, Verd was new this season. I wanted to incorporate him because he was the new hotness. And, uh, yeah, he, he did great. I had mine on Double Revenge X. Um, he just happens to be on Despair this time. But Double Revenge, good speed. I felt like good HP, okay defense. Crit rate, I couldn't quite get to 100. I wasn't too concerned. But, you know, 1 in 10 times, it probably let me down. But I tried to attack Wind, which would have 100% crit. Um... 68 games played, 42 and 26, almost a 62% win rate. My win rate for the season was right about 55%, so anything over 55 uh, did great. Anything under 55 was probably not great for me. So, thoughts on Verd? He's interesting. He will win you matches if he lives, but he's a great focus target to kill, and he's pretty squishy in general. Like, not just mine. I feel like all Verds. Like, I beat Verds by killing them, and I lose to Verds by failing to kill them, so... I don't know. I think Verd Wusa is pretty nice because it gives him a little more protection. Maybe Verd Bestet. I didn't really put those two together much, but I could see that being good. Um, but all in all, Verd did great. All right, Vanessa, my bread and butter. Let's take a look at her. This is These are her runes. Um, I went slightly tankier with her as the season went on. She's on Violent Energy. You can't see these runes, but she's on HP and Attack. Speed, HP, and Attack. So that's why her attack's a little bit higher. Um, I had her on a more damage build, and I felt like she got focused more than I was comfortable with. So I dialed it back just a little bit, um, and I've had her on and off Violent this season. I think Violent is just better. She, you know, late game, she provides enough pop to win, and I was playing sort of a mid-game comp, or a mid-range comp, and I kind of needed that. So her 60% win rate, pretty good. She was my, looks like my most picked monster by quite a bit. Um, so I should have just picked her more, because she won, she outperformed my team about six percent of the time uh so I, I should have gotten her in every match if i could have but maybe the other person was picking vanessa because i picked fran first or something but she did really great i liked her a lot all right amelia pretty new unit for me um 30 53 times pick so less than verd but more than perna 60 percent win rate she was interesting um i feel like i still don't quite i still don't quite have a handle on her she has a couple combos that work with her, like Fen Yang and stuff like that, but I don't I don't quite have the right combo for her. So sometimes I would bring her into a, an awkward situation where she would do nothing, 
and that was bad. So, I don't know. She she deserves a better look. Like I need to I need to dig into her a little bit more. Um but her win rate was pretty good, so, you know, I can't really argue with that. All right, Ager, Water Barb. Um 57.7 win percentage, which is nice because I, you know, I only have so many types of uh buff removal. Let's go ahead and look at his runes. Um where are you, friend? There you are. So, he was on Broken. I mean, Blade, if you can call it that, but basically Broken. And, man, getting him the HP and the defense he needs, along with the speed crit rate and crit damage, is very, very difficult. I felt okay with where he was at uh, 241 speed, but, man, he's a tough he's a tough cookie to rune. I feel like he's so much tougher to rune than, like, a Diana, because he needs so many different things, including speed. Um, but his performance was fine. I picked him 71 times, um, and, you know, decent win rate. I don't really know what to say about him. He's, he's pretty good. All right, going on to Josephine. She was my other buff remover, and this is the rerun I did on her. I made her sort of a tanky bruiser. I thought I thought it was okay. Um, we're going to dig into this column, the DPS and EHP, uh, at the end, but it had to do with that. That's kind of why I was messing with my teams. Um, but she's she's really pretty good. I put her on Will um, this time around because I feel like she was a little bit vulnerable to, like, Hathors and Ganny's um, turn one. So, Yeah. What's neat about her is I feel like her and Water Barb are very similar units. I would often have to bring them together because I only had, those are my two buff removers basically. If one of those was picked by opponent, I had to scramble and kind of come up with an Ethna or something like that. And, you know, they both performed about what you would want. So this is very close to my win percentage against double immunity, which is not great. That's only 2% better than my win percentage overall. Um, so double immunity is still very strong. A lot of things can go wrong. You know, when you buff immunity, it's 100% buff. When you remove immunity, bad things can happen, you know? They can shut down your immunity removal. They can resist. They can rebuff. They can do all sorts of things. Um, I don't think it's crazy to say buffing immunity is safer than taking away immunity. So, you double immunity users, you're doing good. It's working out for you. Um, so, these units are very, very similar. You'll see even this column, which we'll, we'll dig into a little bit more. All right, Molong, I started... I barely got back into him uh, late season. He's on Violent Will. I was kind of thinking I should get back into Molong late season, and I there were so many situations where I didn't consider him. But, I mean, look, I only used him 14 times all season. Maybe the worst thing I did with Molong is keep decent runes on him. Because, I mean, he's, he's kind of set with runes, and I should not have runes on a unit getting played 14 times. It's just, it's bad for me. And his win rate was not great compared to the season's past. So... There were some there were some mistakes I made in terms of ruining I think, uh, but yeah, all right. Platy I brought just to play around with. She's she's messed up now. I took a bunch of her runes, um, but she was fun. She was really fun. I don't feel like I had the team to quite make her work. I didn't maybe commit to her as much as I should have, but she was neat. She was like a buff removing Okeanos kind of a thing. I don't know. I think I think if I committed to her as fully as I did, maybe Josephine, I might have better results. Um, but her base stats are a bit of a problem. Her speed is, in particular is an issue. Um, but she was she was great. I, I don't know. I played a little bit with her. She won one more time than she lost. No big deal. All right, Fran, the poster child of Season 8. I have tried the Violent and I've tried the Swift Fran. This was my rerun into the Swift Fran. She's on just broken. Um, 295 speed was plenty. The defense, I liked her having good defense. Fran's just a... She's kind of like the Perna of Healer. She, she's squishy, you know. She gets she gets wailed on uh, pretty often. She's an easy target for almost anyone. She's very similar to Verd. Um, she's going to get nuked on. Because it's hard to build her with any attack uh, to be able to heal. And if she can't heal, she can't keep herself up. But if you give her too much attack, she has no sustain in and of herself just from her base HP and her base defense. So she's a weird one to ruin. But I played her quite a bit. 86 matches. Um, and she was about even with my win rate so i don't know i don't know if ruining her even was a good choice i may have been better off just trying to defeat enemy friends and let them pick pick her uh but yeah that was my that was my experience with fran ethna got used a little bit here is ethna i should have used her more she's on she's always on pretty good runes but you know having having aoe lack of buffs is difficult and that's where she shines like getting rid of all buffs at once is very difficult especially if you don't have a triana or a tiana which i do not um so ethna would go better with you know units having no protection at all all right and the last unit that i felt pretty good about was the triana 
Um, I re-ruined her at the end of the season. She's at 71 crit now, and she's on Nemesis. Um, there was a point this season where I was I had basically given up on her. She was 2-10 and 10 to start the season, um, and so she finished strong. She finished, what, 18-11? and 11? Pretty good. But, yeah, her win rate does not reflect uh, how, how strong she finished. I, I kind of had, a, had a, a day where I lost five in a row doing what I like to do, and I had to think, what am I doing? That's when the new team kind of came about. I was like, I need to just go back to Vanessa Triana and just do that. That works. It's not a perfect, but it works pretty well. It's kind of like double mute. It's like, it's something you can fall back on that gives people issues and gives you options. So I was pretty happy with how she re -roomed. Now, the Hall of Shame down here with Gany, Oki, Sierra. I, I kind of de ruined these units near the end of the season. I was like, this is not working out. Like, Gany, I don't know if it was me. Here's my Gany currently. Um, I don't know if it was me. I don't know if I was just picking the wrong comps or something, but man, he was not great. Like the nerf of Gany for me was brutal, 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 because I don't have a Hathor. Um, and I wasn't, I don't, I wasn't using him right. So I was doing something wrong. I don't think it's a Gany thing. I think it's a me thing. Um, cause he still has a lot to offer. I just didn't quite get it together. So that's his win rate. 48.5% well underperforming, uh, my average. Had I leaned on him less early in the season, I probably would have finished a little bit higher. Oki, same kind of deal. Um, I had mine as a fast, swift Oki, and more often than not, um, with the Fran double buff, it's a problem. Um, the Frans being everywhere, it turns Oki into a 50-50 reset monster, which is really sad. Because, you know, you need 100% if you're going to get that turn one reset. Um, so he fell off heavily for me. Here's, here's mine. And I think mine's ruined okay. I mean, he's slower now. I think I might have taken some of his runes, but 276... He was, he was up in the 290s uh, to start the season. I'll have to look back at my old videos. But he did not perform very well. All right. And then Sierra, or Sierra, I think also sort of suffered from just the amount of immunity and the amount of immunity removers I needed to bring to every match. I didn't have the the luxury of pairing her with Gany, who removes buffs and she bombs, or Molong, who removes buffs and she bombs. So she fell off hard. Um, I would use her as a speed lead. But I would often be stuck with her into double immunity, and that's how that goes. 42%. Didn't use her very often. Everybody else, I mean, Elsharian, oh my gosh. I deruned him after him just doing nothing. The 0 and 5 was very disappointing. Um, just couldn't couldn't get it done, so he got deruned. Garo, whenever I thought I was smart and brought Garo, he got blown up. So I don't know if it was just bad luck or I did terrible. Um, but yeah, Garo did not get it done. And then Eladriel I brought once. I think it was that one uh, defensive match I played, and yeah, he did great. I see Leo's used, but I I don't know. Like, Leo Vert, it makes sense conceptually, but I couldn't get it to work. So, I mean, I didn't really try very hard. I just kind of tested a little bit. So, that was, uh, that was statistically my season. I think the main issue is I had big runes on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like 14, 15 units, something like that. I was ruined pretty deep, and I think that was an issue. I, I My runes are not good enough to ruin that many units. I need to pick, like, eight units and max them out. Um, so that's probably something I'm going to focus on next time. I need to really commit to a certain couple of monsters. Um, okay, so the DPS and effective HP columns is something I played with on my rerun, and I was having a DPS issue because I was playing very mid-game, and I lost the defense break from Molong. So my only defense break was Vanessa, and I had to be very sparing with it because it only came around every so often. And if they banned Vanessa, I didn't have a defense break. I had maybe a brand from Water Barb, but it made it very difficult to nuke monsters down, especially with the kind of the mid-range I was playing. So what I did is I, I picked out my DPS, and I tried to up my DPS on all my support units. So Vanessa came down a little bit. She was 3,300, and she came down to 2,500 um, with her build. And then Water Barb... I moved down a little bit to 2400, but I bumped up Josephine quite a bit to 2000 with her crit damage build. There she is there. Uh, and then I bumped up the Triana as well with that crit rate build. So, you know, my thought is, is my Perna is at 6000 DPS. He takes, you know, one turn to do 6000 on average DPS. Whereas these units, the Vanessa, the Water Barb, the Josephine, and the Triana, in theory, combine to make a Perna. Uh, you know, every, every turn. So that was kind of my theory and it worked okay. 
Um, but I also wanted to watch the effective HP. So this is my effective HP uh, graph over here on the side. Um, my least effective HP unit is Perna because I really just kind of nerfed him into the ground on HP. I need to work on that. Um, but then second least is Verd and then Water Barb, which makes sense. They're they're very squishy. The Josephine, I would have liked to make a little less squishy, but the 163 seemed okay. She would have had a shield quite a bit. Um, but yeah, the, the one thing I want to avoid is having multiple units too low. Um, I don't want I don't want an obvious focus target for the enemy team. If they do like a like a test, they like hit me and say, oh wow, that bird went down 25%, everything else went down 5%, I've got my focus target. Like I wanted to present more of a unified front, not giving any easy targets. So that's why I put the effective HP and DPS there. And it's something I'm gonna keep refining um, and working on as the seasons go on. So um, I'll just show you the final win loss here. So that's the that's the final for the season. Uh, I'm ranked 3,500, and it ends in like an hour or something like that. Here, I'll minimize this and take a look. So 54.6, probably my worst victory rate ever. It was pretty bad, and we we went into that in the last video a little bit more. Especially, it's a way way off from last season where it was happy times. Um, you know, I was I was rolling. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna try to get a little bit better with it, but I think that's that's where I'm gonna stay. Let's see. Yeah, season ends in five hours, so that's that's where we're at. We're we're done. It is crazy out there. The last week is nuts. Like it's all these C2s messing around that are really like G3s, and it's it's a disaster. So I would have I would advise avoiding that if you can. Anyone that successfully climbs, who who's been playing pretty steadily, if they climb into G1, I'd be interested to to hear how that happens. Um, because I find it, I find it brutal. Um, so anyway, that is the stats for this season. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any thoughts about the the builds or maybe the comps, I'd be interested in hearing it. And good luck to everybody finishing up. And I'll see you in season nine. Take care, everybody.